Since 1979, America has enjoyed a robust, unofficial relationship with the people of the Republic of China, China on Taiwan. Signed by then President Jimmy Carter, the Taiwan, Taiwan Relations Act continues to allow the United States and the Republic of China on Taiwan to maintain the exchange of ideas and commerce, as well as shores up the U.S. commitment to assisting Taiwan to maintain its identity and ability to defend itself. This people-to-people -people relationship is reflected throughout both societies and all aspects of life, from sister cities to student exchanges to industry partnerships, and even the two nations' like commitment to care for their veterans. The Veterans of Foreign Wars of the United States is proud of its special relationship with the Taiwan, Taiwan's Veterans Affairs Council, a bond that, that coincides with our longstanding national resolution supporting the Republic of China on Taiwan. Now with a special message for our 122nd National Convention is a man who has served in defense of his country for almost 60 years. He has served as a fighter pilot, a commanding general, a chairman leading a defense industry company, a former minister of national defense, and most recently, the director of the Institute for National Defense Security Research. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the minister of Taiwan's Veterans Affairs Council, Mr. Feng Shi Huan. Good morning, Commander in Chief Roach II and all the distinguished guests. I'm Minister of the Veterans Affairs Council, Republic of China, and in more than 40 years, Air Force veterans. Many thanks to Commander-in-Chief sincere invitation due to the restrictions to international travel on the COVID 19 pandemic, which put me unable to participate in this event. On behalf of the Veterans Affairs Council and all veterans from Taiwan, I would like to express our sincere blessing through this video. This year marks our 41st anniversary since established airlines in 1980. In addition, we have also maintained very close ties with the Department of Pacific Area and the Flying Tiger Post in Taiwan. When COVID-19 was raging last year, with the widespread shortage of face masks, Taiwan's representative office in the United States managed to present 250,000 surgical masks just in time to Americans. In addition, to further bring our bilateral interaction to a higher level, we will assign coordinators to Washington, D.C. to better work to, to work the goal from next year. As stated above, I think we can keep working on the following directions. First, since VAC only comprehensive and advanced international level veterans hospital system, we may consider cooperation and interaction between our veteran hospital system to provide higher quality and preferential services and exchanges. Second, VAC welcomes you to visit Taiwan to understand how we take care of our veterans. We keep our long-term friendship based upon the shared common values. They are freedom, democracy, peace, human rights, and international justice. U.S. military has been working so hard for this noble value. Quoted during World War II, Korean War, Vietnam War, 
in the last century, or even the global war on terrorism in this century, Taiwan is located in the middle of the first island chain, poses a unique strategic position. We will do our best to enhance the security, peace, and economy in the region. In the early morning of June 6, this year, U.S. Air Force C-17 carried three cross-party U.S. senators to Taiwan in a whirlwind manner. They are Democratic Senator Tommy Duckworth, Republican Senator Dan Sullivan, and Democratic Senator Chris Combs, respectively. I very much admire Senator Duckworth's dedication to her country, whether she was on the battlefield, serving as Assistant Secretary of VA, or a member of Congress. Her speech emphasized that we are friends. We cherished our partnership, helping each other in need is what friends are. She also said that as Taiwan faces the challenge brought by the pandemic, she understood Taiwan's urgent needs. At the beginning of the COVID-19 last year, Taiwan also donated medical supplies to the United States. Therefore, she wanted to thank Taiwan and contribute 750,000 doses of vaccine to Taiwan on behalf of all Americans. When she said, has deeply touched me. Thank you very much for your sincerely value to Taiwan. Both Senator Kuz and Sullivan also said the United States support for Taiwan's prosperity, democracy, and security remains solid. At the same time, they will contribute to promote legislation to consolidate the Taiwan-U.S. relationship. I want to thank you for your support for Taiwan from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for your extremely high level of strategic thinking and the adoption of resolutions each year to express support for us. The strategic relationship between Taiwan and the United States has made a considerable progress recently. For example, the U.S. Congress passed Taiwan Travel Act and the Asian Reassurance Initiative Act in 2018. The Taiwan Islands International Protections and Enhancement Initiative Act passed in 2019. The Taiwan Assurance Act in 2020. These acts are all critical and profoundly affect the security and the ability of Taiwan in the Asia-Pacific region. I believe that the continuous attention from all of you to Taiwan benefit to the stability and prosperity of the Asian-Pacific region. Taiwan also continue to fulfill our responsibilities to maintain our security. Finally, I'm looking forward to the end of the COVID-19 and the early thing, lifting of the global travel restrictions. I sincerely welcome you to visit Taiwan and get to know how we take good care of our veterans by combining veterans' hospitals and veterans' homes as an integrated pyramid service system. I wish the 122nd National Convention of VFW a complete success, a good health and well-being.
to all of you.